What are the latest updates on the Ripple vs SEC lawsuit? When will the lawsuit be over? Will Ripple win? If you want to learn all about it, keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 50 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hello guys, welcome to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. XRP was created neither as an alternative means of payment neither as an alternative to traditional paper money and the entire banking system. The purpose of XRP is the emergence of a new calculation method for the banking system, that is, creating an alternative system of interbank transfers with a minimum commission. The main goal of the Ripple protocol is to ensure a high speed of money transfers. The system uses a consensus registry to record transactions, which differs in many ways from the classic blockchain. In traditional consensus algorithms, such as POW or POS, trust in nodes is formed based on their computing power or balance value. In Ripple, trust is built on the reputation of the owners of node validators, which are banks and other registered companies Axis Bank, American Express, Royal Bank of Canada. When things were going smooth, the SEC vs Ripple lawsuit was filed on December 22, 2020, and it is now ongoing at the U.S. Supreme Court. It has been a year since this lawsuit was brought to a close, and the cryptocurrency industry and investors are still waiting for its resolution, which might come in the form of a settlement or a court judgment. Still, they are hopeful that it will be completed soon. Since then, it has been decided to look back at the difficulties that have afflicted the digital assets industry in the United States, including what has seemed to be a lack of regulatory clarity. Taking to Twitter to convey his views on the first anniversary of the lawsuit, Ripple's chief executive officer, Brad Garlinghouse, blamed former SEC chair Jay Clayton and stated that the battle is just getting started. Today, the SEC voted to attack crypto, Chairman Jay Clayton. Then in his final act is picking winners and trying to limit U.S. innovation in the crypto industry to BTC and ETH. We know crypto and blockchain technologies aren't going anywhere. Ripple has and will continue to use XRP because it is the best digital asset for payment speed, cost, scalability, and energy efficiency. It's traded on 200 plus exchanges globally and will continue to thrive. The SEC, out of step with other G20 countries and the rest of the US Gov, should not be able to cherry pick what innovation looks like. We are ready to fight and win, this battle is just beginning. Many prominent members of the XRP community, including attorney Jeremy Hogan, expressed their opinions on the one year anniversary of the case. I have been involved in a thousand lawsuits in various US, courts in various areas of law. The court system is frustrating and lengthy, but what I know is that it usually gets it right. Don't give in to cynicism, it will get it right again. Because both parties requested permission to hold a final expert deposition on April 19, 2022, as part of the settlement agreement, the expert discovery process in the court case has been extended. In an expert discovery procedure that was critical to understanding the workings of the digital asset market, 16 experts testified in support of their positions. That, together with the documents submitted as part of the fact-finding process, will serve as the foundation for any further judgments made as Ripple attempts to prevail on the fair notice defense in the next trial, which is scheduled for November. While the SEC trial is still going on, Garlinghouse has plenty of reasons to be optimistic about the future of Ripple, both during and after it. Ripple Labs and its XRP cryptocurrency have focused on a recent lawsuit stemming from charges made by the non-profit government watchdog group Empower Oversight that former Securities and Exchange Commission employees were biased against the company. In the case, they were accused of having conflicts of interest when they designated digital assets such as the XRP cryptocurrency to be securities when they were not. Meanwhile, they ruled that other cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum, were not securities due to a conflict of interest and classified them as non-securities. On December 10, according to the online magazine The Daily Hoddle, Empower Oversight made a press statement, which is available for viewing here. Their complaints were outlined, and they demanded a set of Freedom of Information Act or the FOIA documents relevant to their conflicts of interest, which were eventually delivered to them. According to the New York Times, the following was said in the news release on a conflict of interest that looked to be on the edge of corrupting the process. Former senior SEC official William Hinman received millions of dollars in compensation from his former employer, Simpson Thasher, while assisting the SEC in the regulation of cryptocurrencies. According to the press release, a number of other agency employees were also identified as having substantial conflicts of interest. Additionally, it argues that Mark Berger, 
the former chief of the SEC Enforcement Division who brought the action against Ripple Labs, left the SEC for the same legal company that filed the lawsuit against the cryptocurrency exchange. In December 2020, the Securities and Exchange Commission filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs, alleging that the cryptocurrency XRP was issued as an unregistered security. Since then, the company has asserted that the Securities and Exchange Commission lacks clear regulations about which cryptocurrencies qualify as securities and which do not. The Securities and Exchange Commission has deemed both Bitcoin and Ethereum non-investment securities. The lawsuit contends that former SEC Chairman Jay Clayton may have had conflicts of interest in his professional activities throughout his tenure. After that, he joined cryptocurrency hedge fund One River Asset Management, which only worked with Bitcoin and Ether, according to Clayton. He subsequently stated that Bitcoin was not a security and resigned from his position. In addition to the individuals named in the news release, several more government officials worked for the firms they had previously monitored. If the allegations are shown to be accurate, the complaint does not state that the regulators violated particular regulations as a result of the alleged violations. However, one thing is sure, it does not speak well for the agency's image in the future. Moreover, if the claims against Ripple Labs are shown to be true, the SEC may be obliged to shut the case against the company by a judge or by public opinion to end the investigation. If this happens, the value of XRP might soar by a significant amount. Some financial institutions may be more likely to adopt cryptocurrencies if perceived as less controversial, which is one possible rationale. Ripple Labs wants customers to utilize its XRP cryptocurrency and other products, which are being developed by the business, for money transactions. According to reports, this has been one of the most often heard criticisms regarding XRP so far, at least in the United States. Ripple Labs points out that its ODL products payment system has been widely used in other world regions, including Japan. Moreover, as you all probably know, RippleNet is a payment system improvement solution that, according to the company's website, is utilized by hundreds of financial institutions to enhance the entire payment system. As a global network of financial institutions, RippleNet connects users to various financial institutions worldwide, aiming to improve the efficiency of money transactions. The company announced in a recent release that ODL customers today can now access over 20 countries throughout the world for their payment needs. According to the report, the amount of international transactions in ODL has surged by more than 25 times in the last year alone. This recent move will put pressure on the Securities and Exchange Commission and, maybe, Congress regarding the regulation of cryptocurrencies, which is now under consideration. It may open the way to resolve the continuing legal dispute over whether XRP is a security or a cryptocurrency, which is currently in litigation. This will result in a large increase in the value of cryptocurrencies when the legal fight around them concludes. While the lawsuit progresses, Ripple Labs continues to work with payments companies to launch financial products and services using the Ripple blockchain and XRP. It's working with governments in several developing countries to introduce CBDCs and cross-border remittance services. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Will you be investing in XRP before 2022 ends? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.